Hello everyone, Deborah Roth here from Spirited Living with uh, a Valentine's Day goddess, one that I didn't know much about to share with you for our Inner Goddess Team video this week. Ah, oh, yeah, it's one of those days. I should have red on, I guess, or pink or something. I've been surrounded by it, <laughs> wrapping things for my, uh, my daughter, my, my daughter's, my, well, my daughter's in law too, but my, my grand cuties my, that are with, for Valentine's Day coming up. So this goddess this week is Rati, and she is the goddess of love and passion and devotion in particular. And it's a particular kind of devotion. It's not, she's a love goddess that's not connected to, to um, mothering or to childbirth. Um, but but she, along with her partner, Kama Dev, or Kama, Lord Kama, um, as he's otherwise known, they, they go through the universe and um, with their flowered arrows, they shoot them into the hearts of, of people that are looking for love or looking to deepen the love that they already have. So she's got some really wonderful stories to her. And and I, I don't go into detail with why I do this every week all the time. You can, I, I think on, on the YouTube, when the, when the YouTube um, version goes up on Thursday night, you'll be able to see there's a little eye on it and you can find all about what's so great about the divine feminine. Why is it so uh, important in the world? Why am I so passionate about it? And, and it's because basically in a nutshell that all of these goddesses from around the world, and I really hit, just about every culture and and i always ask people on my subscribers on youtube and elsewhere um to let me know some ones that i haven't heard of and i've gotten some wonderful recommendations of people um this was actually i think a recommendation from somebody um so they they are archetypes and they embody the the traits that our our world so desperately needs right now of compassion and and love and honoring nature and honoring our bodies and honoring the body of the earth um yeah so that's all i'll say about it but particularly apropos this week with it being valentine's day and other years um not coming up on wednesday um february 14th here in the states and i think um other years, this will probably be the third or fourth year that I've that I've done um, a love one at this time. It's I've been the, the classic ones. Freya is a Norse uh, love goddess, um, among other things. Venus, of course, Aphrodite. Um, Rati is almost always pictured somewhere. Here we go. Um, is almost always pictured with her her partner, her husband, the primary consort of Kama Dev. And here's the, and they're riding on their, which is kind of weird. Um, let's see if you can see it. They're riding on their sacred parrot, which is known as their um, uh, vahana, which is their sacred vehicle. Sometimes she's shown riding on a horse like a queen because she is indeed um, a queen of love. Here's an individual um, image of her that also shows her with the, with the flower bow, with the flower um, arrows and bow. And she's always depicted as this gorgeous, young, beautiful, and it, you know, any of you who have followed me here know it makes me a little bit crazy to, to always see even the crone goddesses because our patriarchy just can't stand the thought that older women are beautiful, that they, even the crone goddesses, the wise women goddesses, they make into the sweet young things. <laughs> Rati was, is legitimately a beautiful young woman and and that is how she's pictured so she she is someone to invoke if you um if, if you want to really vibrate if you want to get the vibration of of love uh in your being and and i'll share with you a chant at the end which is a little bit of an adaptation of of a um, kama dev slash rati chant that i found online um, I love chanting. I love singing of any kind. And they really are um, ways to invoke. They are vocal prayers um, and, and they are chants are and they are ways to really call in this energy as well. Um, what else do I want to tell you about her? Oh, her, her arrows were called um, Ananga, which means formless, which the idea there is that that represents the fact that love is 
goes beyond the physical and touches our soul, touches our spirit. So I loved that. Um, a couple of her, I'll share, there was actually several very long-winded, complex, and kind of cool <laughs> um, uh, myths, uh, stories about her. Um, and I'll give it an abbreviated version of both her birth one and then her birth myth, uh, and then a later one. In her birth myth, kind of a classic one is that Lord Brahma, the, the head of the head of all the, the Hindu gods, lusted after his daughter uh, Sandhya so much so, and apparently some of the other gods did too, that she committed suicide. Lord Vishnu, one of the other biggies, um, revives her and calls her Rati. So she is actually um, she's actually divine. She's a she is a reincarnation, if you will, of of uh, Brahma's daughter. And, and has her, and then she's, she is um, bid to, to marry Lord Kama. Um, in another version, oh yeah, this is an interesting one. Again, this one has had a more long-winded thing to it. But in another version, um, Sandhya again kills herself um, and is reborn as, as Rati from the perspiration of the goddess Daksha. And in a couple versions of, of her stories, the it's it's the perspiration of love making that that she springs from so so she comes by her her connection to love and passion and desire and enjoying life's uh, pleasures and all that um naturally literally from her birth um let's see oh another story and this this was one of the the more long-winded ones that i thought was so beautiful lord shiva later on um is in deep grief after the the death of his wife sati and while he's grieving, the demon uh, Thark Tharkasura wreaks havoc everywhere. And all the, the gods and goddesses um, beseech, they, they uh, beg Kama with his, his flower arrows to shoot one into uh, Shiva so that he can, he can overcome his grief and fall in love and, and defeat the demon. And so Kama does that. The only problem is that as he's doing it, as, as Shiva's coming out of his grief and falling in love with Parvati, who is, who is the, the goddess, that his, his second wife, um, he's, he zaps Kama through his third eye and turns him into ashes. And this is where the devotion piece, it's such a beautiful metaphor, um, the devotion piece of Rati comes in. She is so bereft that she, she covers herself with his ashes. She, she wails and bemoans um, the, the death of her beloved. And she beseeches Parvati, Shiva's now wife, to, um, to negotiate with, with Shiva so that, so that um, Kama can be reborn. And there's a whole beautiful story, kind of, kind of complicated, um, where <laughs> she, she does this. Parvati says, okay, he's gonna be reborn. You have to go to this other demon's uh, kitchen and take the form of the kitchen maid there. And, and, and then, and wait, because he will be, Kama will be, Kama Dev will be um, reborn in that, in that home, in that demon's home. So as it happens, the, the demon finds out that this is a reincarnation of, of a god that's going to kill him. That was the other part of the angle. So he sends this, he throws this when this, this baby appears, throws it to the fish, the fish eat it, the fishermen bring it back to the house, unknowing you know, that it was thrown away by the demon. And the kitchen maid, um, who is really Rati, cuts open the fish and out, out jumps <laughs> this baby who is actually the reincarnation of, of um, Kama. Aren't you proud of me for getting all these names and all of this, right? But one of the links that I'll put in, um, uh, in on the YouTube um, uh, description, which always goes up by like Thursday night, um, you can read more eloquently than, than I'm describing the, the story, the, the real story of, of um, Kama and her and, and his beloved wife, Rati, who um, then teaches him as he's growing up, she, she teaches him magic so that he can defeat uh, the demon and and comes to realize that this is really um, this is really his former lover, his former wife, and so he goes from thinking of her as a as a mother to ultimately. And boy, this is in cultures around the world when the sons become the lovers of the mothers, not in an incestuous way, but in some magical god goddess way. 
So that's the, the beautiful story of Shiva's, of, of um, Rati's devotion. And so think about that. You can invoke her when you want to have a more blissful marriage, a more blissful relationship, or if you want to deepen the bond that you already have with your partner. She's also, it's also said that if you, if you um, meditate, if you sing this chant that I'm going to share with you in a minute, or any chant, really any Kama, Diva, uh, Kama, Deva, Rati chant, um, if you sit on, on a yellow cloth, or if you have a yellow bow around your house, that is said in this tradition to, um, to enhance, to um, improve family relationships, not just with a lover. So I hope you found that kind of interesting, kind of fun for me. Hello, Carolyn. Hello, Bob. Um, I am going to sing this rendition. So this is, this is a Kima Dev Rata, Rati mantra. You're supposed to, um, and I do these, I, I don't do this mantra. This is one that, that I um, kind of lifted from one and I'll, I'll put the link for it on the, on the YouTube description. But you're supposed to sing them 108 times. Um, that's, that's the sacred number for activating their, their power. And this one, it's, it's um, Om Kleem Kama Dev Rati Namaha. Claim is a word that means this is not just for me. This is to um, enhance my connection to to God, um, and it's claim is a is an attracting force. It unites and binds and bridges gaps and patches up differences. So that certainly sounds like a very um, Rati love goddess <laughs> energy too. So I will leave you with this this very simple chant. Om Claim. Kama Devrati Namaha Om Kleem Kama Devrati Namaha Om Kleem Kama Devrati Namaha One more time Om Kleem Kama Devrati Namaha So go find the one you love sing a little bit to her and in, uh, sing, sing this chant a little bit with him or her um, and, and feel your love uplift. Have a wonderful week and a beautiful love day, whatever that looks like for you. And I will, I don't think I'm seeing you next week. Um, next week will be my, um, the next in my series of my spiritual practices through the wellness universe. And we'll be looking at um, positive intelligence and PQ reps. So, Please subscribe there and pass the word. And, and I would love to hear um, your experience with, with, with Rati. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.